Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about brushes because um, it's just recently that I've been able to buy more expensive brushes, but when I first started doing my makeup, I it took a lot for me to get a full set of brushes at the same time. So when I began, I started using things like this. It doesn't have a name on it. It's just a brush that I got probably from the dollar store and things like this, just simple brushes, simply that put the makeup on and something that would blend in above my eye. But um, I couldn't afford a lot of stuff, so I just kept using the same brushes. And actually this morning, I got this brush from probably a dollar store. I'm not saying dollar store brushes are bad, but this morning this happened. And I was like, what's going on? Because I've used this brush for years. And I'm the type of person that I'll just use it until it breaks. So I guess it's time to let this go because um, I just used it and you can see something's going on there that I don't know quite right, but we'll just throw that away. Um, so as the years went on, I started getting um, brushes that wouldn't do that. Meanwhile, using my old brushes as well until they broke. So I started getting uh, Smashbox brushes and they're really good and um, then as I started collecting more brushes I went to a house party not that kind of party uh, makeup house party and the lady there said you know if you buy this certain brush set it'll last you all your life you won't have to buy any more brush sets for the rest of your life I said okay I can do that so I bought I'm not gonna say what party it is let me hide this Okay, so their brushes look like this, and I got this, and some a brush to do put on my eye makeup on, but this happened. Okay, so originally it looked like this, but as I started using it more and more, this actually just came off, like look how easy. So then I went and got a glue gun, and then I thought, well, it's just too hard to fix, so I was disappointed because I had spent quite a bit of money on this, bit of, bit of money for me, and I thought it would last like a lifetime, but as you see, they don't. So maybe brushes don't last a lifetime. Anyway, um, I continued using my brushes and I bought a few more. These are um, Sonia Kashuk and I got them in the States probably eight years ago, nine, and they worked pretty well. Back then, this was like considered a big powder brush. Back then, you know, seven, eight years ago. And a little blush and a little eyebrow. So I just used all the ones I could. But this year, I decided to go all out and get this. Makeup by Mario for Sephora. He has come up with this lovely palette of brushes. Okay, I've used one, which you can probably see. The contour brush but I haven't used any of the other ones and I've I love these brushes when you take them out they're just a nice hold like it's not light it's not got a nice weight to it and this is their powder brush look how soft I can't wait to use this I've actually had these for well since the end of December and I'm the kind of person that I just wanted to look at them for a while, okay? So it's taken me a few weeks just to look at them. I don't want to use them because I don't want to mess them up, but, you know, I'm just so excited that I have a whole set of brushes. Like, look, there's makeup, contour, blush, um, for your eye makeup here, blending, there's eyebrow brush, smudging brush, like, look. I think that's the most beautiful thing ever and I've never had a makeup brush kit this big so I'm so excited to start using them. I'm a little scared because I, as I said before I don't like you know once you use it you use it and then you have to you know wash them and all that which I don't mind but anyway and also at Christmas I got these. See I have this little makeup brush thing I made 
I put a little ribbon on it and then I filled this with little pearls. It, it looks cute, right? So I just stick it here. And at Christmas, I went out and I got Quo makeup brushes. And this is their powder brush. But look how the handles are. They're so cute. Like they have gold and red and then they have like white and gold. Okay, so I've been using some of those more of um, foundation, the powder brush, and the uh, blush brush. But I haven't used some of these other ones. So yeah, while I do my makeup tutorials and stuff, I'm gonna be using all these new brushes and stuff, but I just wanted to show you some of my brushes. And yeah, I do have brushes that have no names on them. Like this is one of my favorite powder brushes. I don't know who made it. And it, I mean, it looks kind of cool because of, you know the shape of it and everything and I've used it for I don't know two years and it's never broken and I have like other uh, blending brushes and stuff that are not knee brand at all so you know what whatever you can afford go out and use it because I used like two brushes for the beginning for like years and years and years and and I mean you have your hands right so you can also blend um, foundation and and powder and stuff with your hands and you can put I remember putting makeup on eyeshadow with my fingers and um, when I didn't have anything else so not a big deal but yeah I'm looking forward to uh, doing makeup with you guys and doing different looks um, usually when I'm home I won't have any makeup on because I want to give my face a break from uh, all the stuff that I usually wear just to give it some breathing and um, so I usually don't wear makeup when I'm home and doing nothing but obviously when I go out or if I'm going grocery shopping or I'm meeting friends I'll do like a simple look and like right now I, I have makeup on but not very much like I just did some foundation and powder blush and a little bit of eye makeup I don't know if you can see and um, that's it right so I don't glam out all the time you know usually I'd have no makeup on and and that's okay with me too but you can get ready with me next time I'll be using these brushes and um, yeah we'll see how that goes being you know naked on camera for the first time with no makeup on like that's a little scary but I used to be scared to take the garbage out with no makeup on like I'd really get some foundation and at least powder on and maybe some eyeliner, then I take the garbage out. But now I don't care. I don't know if it's age or if I just don't care if I go out now without makeup. But for people to see it online, like that's kind of scary. Anyway, I'm rambling on here. Thanks for joining me. And my next video, I will be doing some makeup. I have bought a lot of um, eyeshadows and stuff that I want to try. For example, this Stila palette. I, um, I'll be probably using this next because I just love it and again I haven't used it because I just want to keep looking at it. I've had this probably the same amount as I've had the Mario brushes so yeah we'll start using the makeup and seeing what we can create. Thanks! Remember to subscribe and like this video. See you next time. Have a great day.